but welcome to a unboxed video of the GeForce GTX 980 Ti by NVIDIA. Today I'm going to do an unboxing video for you guys. If you have any questions leave them down below. Essentially the 980 Ti has benchmarked higher than the Titan X. Titan X is still the fastest GPU on the market. It has yet to be fully overclocked due to the fact it is overheating. The 980 Ti with the water cooler, okay, is a better card at the moment. As you can tell in this video, that is the NVIDIA GeForce GTX limited edition pretty much badge of honor you can slap on your case it comes very nicely packaged it, all it comes is a card and that there's nothing else besides the bio CD or the upgrade you know the drivers that you aren't going to use out of date um, the box is beautiful by the way it comes in you know as you can tell took some pictures of it for you guys as a front it's very very good looking box you know it just feels good in your hands too you can tell they put their time and money into it I people don't like the water cooler that it is on the card I don't know why it does overheat you're not buying a card for looks I like it I I personally like the water cooler and I've been using it all day and it has not got hot actually for you guys let me pull up the temperature on my GTX after eight hours of running today um, sh 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 come on okay well while that's pulling up let me read some of the, the key features of this graphics card NVIDIA Dynamite Super Resolution Technology NVIDIA MFAA Technology NVIDIA Game Works Technology Game Steam Technology G-Sync Ready which is fantastic for monitors Especially the new ones at 4K with G-Sync, whew, has DirectX 12, GPU Boost 2.0, Adaptive Vertical Sync, Surround, NVIDIA Surround, support for four current displays, including Dual Link, DVI, HDMI 2.0, and three Display Ports 1.2, NVIDIA SOI Ready, it has NVIDIA CUDA Core or CUDA technology, PCI Express 3.0 support, OpenGL 4.0 support, OpenCL support. It has a minimum system requirements of PCI Express complete motherboard with one dual width by 16 graphics card slot, one 8 pin and one 6 pin PCI Express uh, supplementary. Power connectives, minimum 600 watt or greater system and power supply, 300 megabytes of a variable hard drive disk, 8 gigabytes of system memory, which is very important. 16 gigabytes are recommended. Uh, Microsoft Windows 8.1 and Windows 7 or Vista, CD ROM, DVD ROM, drives are or internet connective connection. GeForce GTX 9 or GTX 980 Ti graphics card is included in the box with a GeForce Spirit software disk, quick start guide, custom NVIDIA badge. Support and warranty is a three year warranty. You can contact them by phone, email, live chat, web support, update the drivers on the product. Um, minimum system requirements based on a PC configured with the Intel Core i7 3.2 GHz processor for this card, okay? As you can tell, I have horrible camera work. I thought it was up higher. I am very sorry for that. I hope you guys can still enjoy it. I'm pointing to the all the connection ports I just read off. I just took the old one off as well. Uh, this is me installing the new card into my case, looking up the power connectors, trying to fiddle with it because it wouldn't have been the way I want it to. And every time I try to put it in, it'll pop off. My bad. The gloves don't help either. Uh, this is pretty much, oh sorry about that, I just hit the mic. This is my personal experience with the card. I've played a few games on it. Gary's Mod, if, I don't know if you guys ever spawn tons of enemies in it and know it's a, quite a bit of lag. Well, I had a 750 Ti for the win. And 
it is a fantastic card. It was able to hang in there for quite a while, but unfortunately, it just was showing his age for the things I wanted to do, and I had to upgrade. But I am building a mini ITX board, and it is gonna be beefy. I got a 750 Ti in it right now. I'm gonna put 16 gigabytes of DDR3, 200 hertz or 2400 hertz RAM. So please stay tuned and watch the videos if you guys are interested. Yeah, I'm posting a few photos of the product now. I will be doing benchmarking. I will be doing. Uh, performance testing, overclocking on my CPU, RAM, and motherboard to get overall power machine score for everybody. If you're interested, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Have a great day. Bye-bye.